A series of fantastic results last episode saw us climb to the top of the table and give us a 10-point lead over Marseille in second place. We managed to get through two rounds in the Coupe Nationale and we'll now be facing Bordeaux in the quarterfinals. And things are getting serious in the Champions League as we've got Bayern Leverkusen in the round of 16. As for this episode, with the second half of the season and knockout games in competitions upon us, things are really starting to heat up. And of course, if you are enjoying the season so far, please feel free to like and subscribe and let's get on with it. I want to start this episode off by talking about this man, Carlos Soler, though, and what a season he is having in the centre of the park for us. 22 games played, 9 assists, 8 goals to his name, and he's not just becoming an assist leader, he's becoming a goal leader as well. And speaking of goals in the second half of the season, Mbappe is in a world of his own. 24 goals in 27 appearances, unbelievable for him this season. Anthony in second place with 11 goals in 23 appearances. He's been sensational as well this season. Carlos Soler, as I said, nine goals to his name. Federico Chiesa's really stepped up, eight goals to his. Osserman, he's kind of tailed off a little bit in the last few games, but he's still chipped in with eight goals. Diaby, though, he really needs to step up his game. Only five goals to his name. Jules Kunde, the new signing, however, chips in with three goals, along with his other central defensive partner, Marquinhos. Vinicius Jr. though, still struggling to come to the party. Only 14 appearances and only three goals. He really, really needs to step up his game. And he's got big Neymar-shaped shoes to fill as well. We've got three back-to-back -back sim games to kick this episode off, starting with a 3-2 win at home to Clermont, courtesy of two goals from Mbappe and one sandwich in the middle from Vinicius Jr. As always, we sim the first leg of a Champions League knockout stage, and thanks to a very late Federico Chiesa goal, we give ourselves a 1-0 aggregate lead heading into the next leg. But we come crashing back down to earth with a shocking 3-1 home loss to Stade Bretois. In spite of that though, we've still managed to claw out a nine-point lead at the top of the table ahead of Marseille in second place after 26 games played. For now though, it's on to a cup competition that I am absolutely desperate to win. That is right, it is a quarter-final in the Coupe Nationale against Bordeaux. Changes to my starting 11 mean that Donnarumma starts in goal, Frimpong at right back, Kunde, Canate and Gavardio in the centre of the defence with Malassia on the left-hand side. Morella and Carlos Soler partner each other in midfield. Diaby, Mbappe and Vinicius Jr. start up front. Vinicius Jr. finds Mbappe. He comes deep looking for an option. Can't quite find any, but he twists and turns away. Tries to feed it into Carlos Soler. That is a brilliant way to start this game. Inside the opening five minutes, Mbappe feeds in Carlos Soler. And he makes no mistake. I said at the start of the episode, he's been on fire. And he is continuing that incredible vein of form. Mbappe comes deep once again. Going to try and feed a ball out wide to Carlos Vinicius. He has managed to stay on side. Vinicius across the left. Looks for Diaby. It's a great ball. It's an even better head. And it is 2-0 inside side the opening 20 minutes. Lovely build up play and Mbappe coming deep once again feeding in Vinicius and that is a beautifully little dinked cross and Diaby right on hand to power ahead of home past the goalkeeper to give us a two goal cushion. Morella finds Diaby on the right hand side just takes that really nicely right into his path and he's got the pace to drive away from the defenders. Oh he just can't get a ball across too slow. This is the first real opportunity they've had to try and see if they can fashion an opportunity, but they don't do enough with it. And we can now try and get the ball clear. Diaby into Barella. Barella's going to try and feed Vinicius Jr. out wide on the left-hand side. It's a great ball. Vinicius Jr. with the pace to drive into the penalty area. I'm just going to strike because there's no options. And in the end, it's a pretty easy save for the goalkeeper. Carlos Soler into Mbappe. He's just dropping into that little space between defence and midfield. And oh my word, they've completely given it away. It's Diaby onto his left. What a save. Diaby with the corner, whips it in, looking for Vinicius Jr. Another big save from the goalkeeper. He turns really nicely, going to try and get a cross in. It's a good cross into Mbappe. He just can't get his head on it. Into Maya. He turns, gives it to Inkatenko. He looks for Shabe again. He's got an option ahead of him, doesn't choose to use him. Instead goes to Maya. Maya feeds it into Inkatenko. It's a great save from Donnarumma. Out to Lacroix. It's Sissoko. Smash is it against Canate? Can we get it clear? No, we can't. But he's headed right into the arms of Donnarumma as the referee blows for half-time. Rella into Carlos Soler. He's turned so nicely around the defender. Carlos Soler driving forward. Hits it with his left. Oh, that was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Yabi finds Mbappe. Again, coming short. He's just picking up these little pockets of space. Oh, he's gone past two. Mbappe's gone past three. Mbappe, that is absolutely sensational. The best goal of the game so far. It's 3-0. And surely now we're sailing into the semi-final of the Coupe Nationale. What a fantastic goal. Chabé to try and get this one away for Bordeaux. Trying to drive forward. Goes past Canate really nicely. Canate trying to fight with him, though. 
Can't keep hold of it. It's Ellis driving forward. Great save from Donnarumma. Ignatenko to try and put a ball into the box here. In, looking for the hell of Lacroix. Can't find him. And Bappe of all people gets his head on it. Nasimba has it right on the edge of the box. He's just weaving away. And that is a fantastic goal. What a brilliant finish. Just weaved his way into the box. Lovely footwork to get away from two of my defenders and smashed it past the goalkeeper. 3-1, they're back in this game. Carlos Soler into Mbappe, one touch into Vinicius Jr. He turns really nicely, trying to get into the penalty area, strikes. Oh, big save. Another corner here and it's another one. Diaby's going to take, looking for the head of Vinicius Jr. Couldn't get to it though. Carlos Soler will. He gives it to Diaby. Diaby to try and feed this one back into the box, looking for the head of Vinicius Jr. again. And once again, he can't quite get to it. Sissoko, only a couple of minutes left in this game for Bordeaux to try and see if they can get at least one goal to get themselves back into it. In Simba, flicks it across. Barella is there to intercept, but he loses the ball to Lacroix. Now they've got it again. It's Ellis. It's Gavardio trying to put a challenge in. It's rebounded off of Canate. They've still got it. Shabe into Ellis. Another big save from Donnarumma. Can we keep it in play? Yes, we can. Diaby picks it up. The referee blows the whistle. It is 3-1 here. We do go through to the semi-final of the Coupe Nationale. They made it difficult for us in the last 20 minutes, but we did enough and we get the job done. And that 3-1 win against Bordeaux means that we draw Toulouse in the semi-final and surely we've got to be favourites for this one. The main focus though does have to go back to the Champions League where we are going to have a really tricky second leg tie against Bayern Leverkusen. However, before we do that, we've got two more league games to get through. Starting off with a 2-0 win against Angers, but we follow it up with another really bad result, a 3-1 loss to Monaco. And it means that the chasing pack are just starting to inch their way a little bit closer to me. Only eight points separating ourselves and Leon, who now find themselves in second place. However, all attention now turns to this second leg Champions League tie against Bayern Leverkusen. This is my starting 11 that I'm hoping will get the job done. However, looking through the Bayern Leverkusen team, it is far better than I expected. The likes of Tammy Abraham, Alexander Isak, Gakpo up front. They've got De Bruyne in the centre midfield, Laporte and Slotterbeck at the back as well. This is going to be a massive ask today. Nuno Mendes feeds in Vinicius Jr. Just takes too heavy a touch, but manages to win it back after some sloppy play from Bayern Leverkusen. Lovely feet from Vinicius Jr. Just going to try and dink this one in with the outside of his right foot. He gets headed out. Nuno Mendes has it. He gets it's blocked off, Vinicius Junior picks it up again, he strikes with his left, and it's a big save from the goalkeeper inside the opening 10 minutes. Gakpo, oh that is a sensational ball right into the path of Griffo, he's trying to drive into the penalty area, he's just held up by Hakimi, and he just runs it out of play. We've got a free kick here, and it's Mbappe who's going to try and step up, he's about 30 yards out, but you know what, I'm just going to go for it, why not? Put enough power on it, let's see if we can hit this into the top corner. Oh my word, that was horrendous. Vinicius Jr. has been a nuisance so far in this game. Switches it onto his right, still going. Vinicius Jr. strikes, another huge save. Bettina with another corner, I'm going to look for Vinicius Jr. It's straight over his head into the bath of Saliba, he's blocked off. Vinicius Jr. picks it up again though. Oh my word, he's taken out by Gakpo. Can we win it back with Hakimi? Yes we can. He drives down the right hand side, can he find a ball in? He can. Headed away, can Bettina get there? No he can't. Feeds it back into Vinicius Jr. He takes it down, looking for Mbappe, lovely ball, Mbappe to look for Vinicius Jr. That is a massive interception. Beats it back to Gakpo, Tabby Abraham. This is the first real time Bayern Leverkusen have been able to string some passes together and just as I say that, Canate can now escape with the ball, feeds it into Diaby. He's managed to stay on side, feeds it across to Mbappe for 1-0. He does make it 1-0. That is a lightning counter-attack. It's absolutely sensational and who else is going to find the back of the net but that that man, Kylian Mbappe, a wonderful pass from Canate. Diaby looked up, early pass across the box to, Di uh, to Mbappe, and he smashed it past the goalkeeper. It is 2-0 on aggregate here. Vinicius Junior now has it. Going to try and feed this into Vettina. It's a great ball. Ah, Vettina tried to feed it to Diaby, but he just stopped his run. Diaby into Mbappe. Mbappe, has he got the pace? Of course he has to get away from the defender. Diaby dinks it into the path of uh, Diaby, sorry. Vinicius Junior with the overhead kick. Oh, Abraham wins it off of Kimbembe and forces Donnarumma into a save. Kimi feeds that one all the way over to Carlos Soler and he sends it across to Nuno Mendes. He's got the pace to drive into the penalty area. I'm going to look for the cutback into Mbappe to make it two. 
and it just reflects back off the defender. Carlos Soler can't get there ahead of him though. He just tries to drive forward. I'm going to check back, trying to get it onto my right. He now feeds in Carlos Soler, looking for Mbappe. Varela finds him instead. Mbappe checks it onto his left. Can I strike? Yes, I can. Good save from the goalkeeper. The substitute, Anthony, with the corner. Whips it into the area. Looking for Kimbembe off the bar. Oh, my word. That was the most incredible bicycle kick I've ever seen on this game. Inches away from scoring what would have been the best goal ever on FIFA, I'm sure. But the referee blows the whistle right on full time. It finishes 1-0 here. What a way it would have been to finish that game if that had gone in from Kimbembe. Unbelievable. But just as it happens, it ends 1-0, 2-0 on aggregate. And we go through to the next round of the Champions League. And that fantastic 2-0 aggregate win means that we will now be facing RB Leipzig in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. And looking at all of those teams, maybe with the exception of Spurs, that is probably the best draw we could have got. For now, though, we have to turn our attention back to the league. And our shaky league form in this episode continues as two Mbappe goals is not enough. And we share the points with Strasbourg after a 2-2 home draw and the shaky form continues one goal from Anthony not enough and the points are shared yet again this time thanks to a 1-1 draw away at Nantes however it's now on to the important stuff and after a 2-0 aggregate win against Leverkusen in the round of 16 we go to Leipzig for the first leg of this Champions League quarterfinal like all of my European first leg games I will be simming this one and this is the team that I'll be putting out to get the job done let's go and get a decent result and put ourselves in a really good position for the second leg and we do just that. Nuno Mendes, Mbappe and Anthony all getting on the score sheet. And we give ourselves a 3-1 aggregate lead. And we now have one foot into the semi-final. We're going to finish this episode off though with one final played game. And it's back to the league and it's away from home for what is going to be a tricky tie against Axair. It's full rotation for my starting 11. Alban Lafont comes in in goal in place of Donnarumma. Frimpong, Saliba, Canate, Gavardi and Malassia make up the back line. Sanchez and Vitina in the middle. Diaby, Osserman and Vinicius Jr. start up front. Saliba finds himself driving into midfield. Vinicius Jr. finds himself in the centre of the park and he turns onto his right and he strikes. That is a great save from the goalkeeper. Diaby with the resulting corner, whips it in, looking for the head of Cavardio, and it goes over the bar. Bettina with the corner on the other side of the pitch, this time looking for Vinicius Jr. And it's another great save from Dubois, third corner of the game. It's going to be Vettina again looking for Vinicius Jr. This time he can't quite get onto it, but Diaby can. He feeds it out to Vettina, whips it back in, looking for Saliba. That is a fantastic defensive header to just knock it back to the goalkeeper. Tina finds Osserman. Osserman's got two players ahead of him on the right-hand side, but he can find one of them in Diaby. He's across on the left, feeds it across to Malassia. The left-back has found himself in the penalty area, and he makes no mistake, just puts it into the back of the net. An open goal. He couldn't miss after some lovely build-up play from Osserman and Diaby. Unselfish stuff from Diaby just to feed it back across to Malassia, who was in a better position. And we give ourselves a one-goal lead after some fantastic teamwork. Tries to play this one right the way over the top, and that is a fantastic ball. Diaby keeps it down, puts it onto his left, goes for a finesse. Diaby with the corner, puts it in again, looking for Vinicius Jr. with a big head, and this time he gets it right. Vinicius Jr. just loops it over the goalkeeper. I gave him a lot of stick at the beginning of the episode saying that he wasn't living up to expectations, but my word, he has done so with that header. Absolutely fantastic. Lovely ball in from Diaby, and I couldn't have placed it better myself. Lovely stuff, 2-0. Osserman finds Vettina. Vettina looks for Vinicius Jr. Full of confidence now that he scored that goal. Shifts it onto his right, goes for a finesse. Another big save. Diaby with another corner. And again, looking for Vinicius Jr. with the head. The goalkeeper spills it. And they just about get it clear. Bruma has it on the right-hand side. Lovely footwork to get away from Malassia. Can he find a ball in the box? No, he can't. Goes back to Zanotti. Singh, Zanotti. They're just playing it around here. They're overplaying it, to be completely honest. Bruma has it again. He's waiting for a run. Malassia cuts it out. And once again, Axair just overplaying it. Finds Renato Sanchez. Renato Sanchez goes right the way across. Lovely ball to Vinicius Jr. I'm going to try and play it across. Bruma has it here. Just trying to twist away from the challenge of Barella. Karika Baru strikes it and it's an easy save from the goalkeeper in the end. Vinicius Jr. Vinicius Jr. keeps going. Goes round one. Driving into the centre of the park. Can I try and feed this one into Anthony? He can. Anthony just takes a little bit too long. They clear it away and surely he does. The referee blows the whistle. He finishes here 2-0. A pretty easy game in the end. Axair didn't really threaten us at all. 
We probably could have got more than two, but we get the job done, and that is the most important thing. And those results mean we've got a huge second leg quarterfinal game in the Champions League for the next episode. It means we also find ourselves in the semi-finals of the Coupe Nationale, and it means we've managed to stretch out an 11-point gap at the top of the table with only seven games remaining. But that is that for the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.